it's Doug Liner with Patch of the Week, and this week we're going to look at random voltages. On my mystery search, I have a random voltage generator. It outputs a stepped random voltage, a smooth random voltage, and a timing pulse that's associated with the timing of the stepped output. And that's all quite cool. But what do you do if you don't have one of those? Well, if you do have some smooth and step function generators, you can just make this because that's in fact how this is made. So the first thing you need to understand about making a random voltage generator is that you need to have a random source, or in this case it's called a sample and hold source. This is what it sounds like. That's as opposed to like pink noise or white noise. This is a lot grainier and it's perfect for generating random voltages. So here's how you do it and it's real simple. You take that sample and hold source and you put it in the input of the stepped side of a smooth and step function generator. Then you want to take the output of the coupler. The coupler is a comparator, which is comparing the voltages uh, of the smooth and step sides and giving a pulse out uh, at a certain you know point when they cross. So what we want to do is take the coupler out and put it in the input of the smooth function side and use it to sample the stepped function side. And all of a sudden, you can see here on the lights, that they're blinking and it's generating random voltages. So let's get this oscillator back and first let's take the step side output and there it is that's the stepped random output it's not only random in pitch but it's also random in timing if we go to the smooth function side, we'll get the smooth output. And of course, if we go to the coupler or comparator, we're going to get the timing pulse. And that's how you do it. A random voltage generator using a smooth and stepped function generator. Alright, patch of the week. Hope you enjoyed it.